Ooh, I kind of like that. How am I coping? Over the last like week or two, like I feel like after getting over that like milestone of you know one year, I feel like I just feel lighter and I feel just like I don't know all summer like August like the you know first few weeks of August have just felt like this like impending doom where I'm like oh like August is coming like it's gonna be really hard I'm really nervous I don't know how I'm gonna feel come August and August came and it happened and I coped and I feel better now like I feel like I've like made it past like a year without him and it's really, it's bittersweet, honestly, because on one hand, it's like a year ago, I did not see myself like making it this far even. Like, I was like, what, what the absolute hell is my life going to look like a year from now? Like, I couldn't even picture it at all. I was like, there's no way I'm going to even be the least bit happy. Like, I'm going to be miserable for so long. Like, what, what is my future going to look like? I, ha I was, I had no clue. And for me, you know, I've always kind of known, like, what the future was, like, going to look like to be able to be like, oh, yeah, like, you know, I have a plan for the future. This is my plan. This is what my goal is. This is what I hope my future looks like. And then when it happened, it's like, all of that was gone. What I thought the future was going to be obviously it was completely different from you know what it, it I just didn't have that potential to even have that you know kind of future anymore with him and I was just like where what direction am I headed and for me that was really hard and then here I am a year later and it's like whoa like I wish I can go back and tell myself a year ago like all that was to come in the next year and just like that I would be you know happy again eventually um and like you know obviously it still really fucking hurts like it, it, it does, it's always going to whenever I think about it which is every day you know it hurts it's painful but it's not constant and it's not this debilitating thing anymore and there's things in my life that like make me happy despite that and yeah I don't know I just couldn't have even imagined like being here where I am in life a year ago and so I'm just really proud and it's like happy that I'm happy again and I've worked through so much of my trauma and you know I still have a long ways to go when it just comes to like healing and therapy and working on things but I've come a long way and I'm just really proud of myself um so yeah but I made it past August and like that was a big thing for me and like since then I've just felt I don't know I, it was kind of just like it provided some closure just like hitting that one year mark and some peace and it just helped um does halloween make you nervous still um i mean the only reason like halloween was like hard for me last year was first of all it was the first halloween without landon my first holiday without him um he died in august and like the first like you know big holiday that's like you know a family thing that we always did together um you know that was that was really hard last year and then on top of that um I need some like accessories.
on top of that, just the gore. And, like, I used to love scary movies and true crime podcasts and all that stuff. Like, I loved it, and I wasn't, like, ever, like, scared. Um, But, because it was, like, fake, and I was like, oh, like, yeah, whatever. Um, But, yeah, after, like, seeing what I saw and, like, calling the police and having the sirens, you know, come closer and closer and the ambulance and, you know, just the, like, it's just harsh. It's just a lot. It's, like, trauma. It's, like, scarring. And then so anything that, like, reminds me of that, you know, it's just, like, hard. Um, And Halloween, there's definitely, like, A lot of gore, a lot of just, like, yeah, just gore. And I really wish I could enjoy things like that again. I wish that wasn't something that was so hard for me because I used to love Halloween. I used to love scary movies. And now it's just triggering. So, I don't know. That's where I'm at with that. Um... But I I really haven't tried to, like, watch scary movies or gory stuff or anything like that, like, since then. Um, well, I, I did try, like, pretty much, like, right after, and I was like, whoa, wait, hold on. This is, like, not how it used to be. Um, I kind of want to wear this. Um, yeah, I just, like, oh, I can't really, like, enjoy this thing anymore. Um... So, yeah, now, I don't know. That's that's the reason that Halloween's just kind of hard. But, you know, I think I will be okay. Um, I haven't had, I don't know, it's really hard to, like, understand, like, PTSD and, like, what that looks for, looks like for me because, like, you never know when something's gonna, like, be triggering like it's not like every time this one thing happens or I see this one thing or think about this one thing I'm gonna like have a flashback it's not like every single time like oh yeah if if this happens this is gonna happen like I could you know see something triggering and be totally fine and be like okay like I I recognize that that's triggering for me and you know in an in a different place and time and scenario that might cause me to have a flashback, but it just didn't right now. It's, like, really random. Like, sometimes it'll be, like, totally fine, and, like, I can recognize that that might be triggering, but it doesn't, like, trigger anything. And other times, you know, it is really triggering, and I'm like, whoa, and then I have a flashback, which doesn't happen super often. It's probably happened, like, six times over the last year. Um, so I don't really know. Um, it's just really random, but I, I can't just like avoid anything that might give me a flashback. Um, because sometimes it's like such a little thing and it like one of the worst flashbacks I've ever had was because I was in group therapy and someone was talking about how they wanted to be a doctor when they grew up. And then the therapist was like, you know, there's like, talking about how doctors need to have compassion and blah, 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 and, like, you know, it takes a certain type of person to, like, be able to tell someone, like, hey, you know, the surgery didn't go well, your loved one has passed away, and, like, her just talking about doctors and talking about having to tell that, you know, tell people that, Like, that was super triggering for me. And then I, like, completely shut down and started having a flashback and, um, like, in the middle of, like, group therapy. And, like, it took a while for anyone to notice. And then it's really hard to explain because I'm, like, in my body and aware of everything going on. But I'm also, like, I can't move and I'm, like, not there mentally but I am there but I'm not like I I can hear what's going on but I can also hear 
like the flashback or whatever and like I'm it's really hard to explain if you've never like experienced like PTSD and everything um but yeah I don't know it's very random and sometimes it's the littlest thing that can like cause like a really crazy flashback and sometimes it's like a super triggering thing that I just kind of recognize and move on from so yeah I don't know it's it just I don't know how it how it happens and there doesn't seem to be any kind of rhyme or reason to it but yeah so I think I think this Halloween I should be fine I haven't had a flashback in like three months maybe less maybe like two months um but it's been a while <coughs> I got a lava lamp so that's cool it's orange my favorite color it's like that all right I'm heading out Where's my stuff? Why are they like sideways? All right, thanks for chatting with me. And <coughs> I feel a lot better about filming this video now, honestly. Um, especially like, talking to you guys kind of about it and almost like kind of practicing like what I want to say, like getting those feelings out. Um, and yeah, I think, I think it's going to be good. And it, it was really great to hear like your supportive, like feedback as I was kind of opening up about that, um, about like, you know, the sexuality stuff and like seeing like live action in person that like not everyone is gonna be mean and ignorant like a lot of people are gonna be really supportive um yeah I don't know it was really helpful to to kind of hear that um and I'm ready to film this video I'm excited for you guys to see it um first I'm gonna go to lunch and then I'm gonna film so yeah talk to you guys later